Well, hello again. Zoom in here. Oh, that's better. <clears throat> well, uh, I went to an auction and uh, bought a bunch of Oliver memorabilia. And this auction was huge. I've never seen such a big collection of Oliver well, they had all of her pedal tractors and 116 to 164 scale and anything all of her you can think of they had. So I bought a little bit of stuff here. Anything I did want went way too expensive, but I did get a few things here. I'm going to zoom in here. Just a bunch of... That's an actual original dealer sticker from Glencoe. I don't know how these these people find this stuff, but those are actually match matchbooks. Florida, this one's really neat. Belt buckle here. Come on, phone, zoom in. Little keychain there and uh, Madison, Wisconsin, and this is really neat. This isn't that old, but I already had one, but it, it wasn't in the box. <clears throat> and I did bid on, and I thought I want a Minneapolis Moline version of that. When my dad went to pick all this stuff up, it wasn't there. Looked at the bill, I never paid for it, or it wasn't on the bill, so I guess. Somebody else got it. These online auctions, and when you're doing an online auction and, and a live auction, and people bid in both ways, you'd wonder how they could keep up. It got pretty insane. Our, uh, our phones kept uh, glitching on us. But these are really neat here. These are uh, iron-on badges here. Got a bunch of these. Yeah, a lot of neat stuff. I don't even remember bidding on this baler here, but I ended up with it. It's actually a 8575. 1997 is what's stamped on it. So while I have you in here, I'll take you through the collection here. Light is lighting isn't the greatest here, so got a 187 scale 9510. My wife collects the smaller ones. Oh yes. Don't <laughs> get me in here. My wife just brought something in. My expensive. <laughs> My wife bid on this cast iron uh, tractor seat, and she thought it was a full-sized one, but after the bidding was done, I looked at the uh, picture of it and it said it was three inches wide. Yes, in weight. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> I won't tell you what you paid for it. Uh, too much. I'll keep Way you in suspense. But anyway, <laughs> it happens. It doesn't help that my husband bid against me. Yeah, I won't go there. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's the S690, uh, is that one on tracks, I think. Yeah, track combine. International, got some signs up there. My big ass Tim Hortons mug. International sprayer, I don't even know what number that is. These are getting to the point where they're just dust collectors. I just don't uh, get time to dust them like I should. This one I got at a second-hand store, 1660. There's the original rotary combines. I remember having one of these as a kid. That one I got at a toy show. 
There's an 815. 1460, 2166, 21, 2388, uh, that one's an 8010. I guess I should have cleaned the cobwebs here. They're really, really dusty. Make sure I get them all in there. The original ones have the harder tires on the back. I think these ones are actually made in Dyersville. Then the reproduction ones, they had the softer rubber tires on them and leave them in the sun too long and they get discolored. That's off our old 1486 we used to have. There's an original one. Ten eighty six. What's going on here? That has to be one of my favorite ones, the fourteen sixty eight. Actually, seen one of these at the outdoor farm show in Woodstock one year. They had one restored there. Fell I work for had a box of old toys he was gonna throw out and give me a bunch of bunch of it some down further. That one I had as a kid. That one there, old farm all. That old case back there is one too. <clears throat> Get into the good stuff here. A couple of these I had as a kid, but I can't even remember which ones now. Christmas ones always had the decal on the roof and the year of it. This is when I got the auction. I think it's been modified. It's got the bigger tires on the front. So 6175. This tractor I had as a kid. I bought it. Her dad bought it for me the year they came out. Still in pretty good shape yet. I've never had it restored. This little corner post here is missing. Still pretty good shape. And here's the American series. We bought all these individually as they came out to the dealership. I think my brother owns this one, but we keep them together as a set. Here's one I got at the sales. Two, four, two seventy. Little mini mo. I thought I had bought the Minneapolis version. I'd had all four of them, but like I said, they wasn't there when Dad went to pick them up. There's a cat with tracks on it. The old tin can. One tractor I don't have any of is a Massey, and I don't really have any desire to collect them. Never been much of a Massey guy. <clears throat> Had this one as a kid. That was my brother's old New Holland combo. I don't think it's numbered though. I don't know if many people know this, but these Ford FW tractors were actually Steigers. Look identical to this one here. Old 97, 90, yeah, 9700 back there. These are some of my brother's toys he had as a kid. That's one I just got recently. Little bobcat, got a big bud still in the box. 
And there's when you don't see a Knudsen tractor. Anything that's small belongs to my wife. She likes collecting the tiny 187 scale stuff. Got two of these snowies. When your wife works at a John Deere dealer, she kind of gets first pick of new stuff that comes in there. Here's some more of the toys that belong to the, my boss. My truck. Yeah, the International Lone Star. And my itty bitty truck. And here's an old true scale pull type combine. It's missing a few of the components on it, but. For the most part, it's still there. This 6195 I got when I worked at the white dealership. I worked there as, for, as a co-op student when I was in high school. and Of course, they didn't pay you, but when I left there, they gave me this 6195. That's pretty highly detailed. The hood goes up and did have weights on it, but I lost them over the years. Now we'll scoot over to the green stuff here. That's a new one I got recently. Gas pump, an old John Deere truck, this old tin truck. Show you this calendar here, 66 Oliver, 1850. My wife used to haul manure, haul sludge, work for a company that used to haul that kind of stuff, and that's that's the tractor she used to drive, 8120, with these husky spreaders on them. And these are her uh, military. This is actually laser cut guy at the farm show does it. Every year he's there and they're kind of neat. We actually had one of these tractors that are when we got married. Most of these here are the originals when they came out. I know they're starting to bring back the reproduction ones. Getting into the R series now. Quite honest with you, I've never drove an, dri bleh, driven an R series tractor. Eighty-eight seventy. There's eighty-seven seventy back there. Fifty series. Sixty series. As far as John Deere goes, the Iron Horse series got to be my favorite favorite tractor. Oh, geez, I got a decal coming off there. Can't have that. The Iron Horse in the series two. There's a seventy. 70, 20, and 75, 20. 50, 10, 60, 30. There's a chip foose. Precision 44, 50. Another snowy. 175 anniversary there. Waterloo boy Get into all the two cylinders down here and the infamous 8020 
but I'd love to see the original 8010. These are all the harvesters. I haven't seen them come out with the 52 or 5400 harvesters, the original ones. It's only a matter of time. Cotton pickers. I have yet to see one of them work too. There's a 7720. Titan 2. You get into all the implements down here. Man, they're dusty. <laughs> Work cut out for you. I'll say. Well, I built these cabinets. These are actually made out of the barn board from the barn at Dad's when they tore it down. And I thought I'd take it and build some shelves with it. And I was going to put plexiglass over top of it to keep the dust out. And of course, that's a that's a round to it job. log skitter there John Deere manure spreader I think so well there don't have very many 116 scale because I really don't have room for it oh there's a dart there one where they came from <laughs> This is kind of our music room, so that's why there's guitars and banjos and everything everywhere. I know I go into the drums. That would be entertaining, wouldn't it? Yes. Six eighty there. Another 60-30, precision. Most of these are my wife's. She collects the trucks and the cars and whatnot. And the tiny ones. And then we have a plethora of signs. We have more out in the little building where our hot tub is. Well, there's the newest one I bought today, by the way. Oh. oh, it's a beer, but it's got a beer bottle opener on it. Great. Mm -hmm. Put that down there. Really running out of wall space. <laughs> I got this one for Christmas, this sign here, and that one there. Yeah, so that's my collection. My collection of dust and tractors. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.